Hey, greetings everybody. Um, today I just wanted to make a short video, or I should say tonight. I uh, just wanted to make a short video um, on Heart Chakra Day. Today is Wednesday, January 9th, and every Wednesday is a Heart Chakra Day. Now I know it's super late, um, it's nine o'clock, so most of the day, most of the day is gone. Um, but every Wednesday is a Heart Chakra Day, so this video is actually uh, useful for the future, um, where you can utilize this every single Wednesday if you'd like to. You don't have to. This is just being offered because this is something that um, helps me, that I enjoy doing. Um, I, I love colors and I love the rainbow. Um, and I feel in relation to it, um, relating to your to your energies, um, I think that's very important to stay centered, to stay balanced. Um, so you're not going off on people. Um, and you're not going off on yourself because that's really what's coming from within. Um, it's something that you need to work on yourself if you are doing that. Um, so what I wanted to kind of focus on with the heart chakra, um, I have a little description here, um, that kind of explains the chakra system within our body. Um, and I found this at uh, Chakra, www.chakrainfo, or chakra.info, excuse me. Um, and a heart chakra, you can see, is right in the middle um, of your body in the heart region. It is the fourth chakra um, of seven chakras that are within, um, starting at your root, um, which is in the pelvic region. Um, and then it makes it, its way up. Um, the, uh, the word chakra is uh, pretty much it. It's an explanation of your energy uh, life force. It's like a wheel, um, and it's um, almost like it's spinning. Life force within spinning and rotating. Um, and it's also related to um, your heart area, your lungs, the thymus gland, and the cardiac plexus. Um, it is also associated with the color green. I don't know if you can see that here. It says heart chakra, and then it as the symbol for the heart chakra. Um, it kind of looks like a little stocking in the middle of a 16 petal, I believe it is a uh, flower. I could be wrong. Um, the throat chakra has 16 petals. I'm not sure how many the heart chakra has, but it does have petals and they're pretty. Um, and then uh, it represents love and healing. So today is all about love. So I hope that everyone was loving and uh, staying centered and um, doing as much as you can to uh, keep your vibes high. Um, Cause when we keep our vibes high, everything around us is a uh, vibe high too as well. Um, so with the color green, the color green stands for transformation and love energy. Um, it is the unhurt portion uh, of our bodies. It's the uh, protective part where past experiences and grievances cannot harm us. Um, you'll know that you're balanced within your heart chakra. Um, you can feel it in your chest. Um, if you, if you do feel activation, but you know that you're balanced, um, it's an indication of, of your personal conduct and, um, what you display, uh, to the outside world. And so, um, if you are out of balance, some of those symptoms are anger, grief, hatred, jealousy. Um, I would put anxiety in there too, because that kind of leads to um, those things, those those characteristics. Um, these are manifestations that should be healed, should you find yourself um, with these traits. Um, you want to make sure that you're always centered and balanced um, so that you're able to function and make, you know, rational decisions and to be relaxed. Um, it, uh, it keeps from illness as well. Um, when your vibes are high... Um, that's usually something you don't have to worry about. Um, and when your heart chakra is open, you will feel love and compassion for others and allow others to be who they are. And if you'll notice, I have on my green sweatshirt. I purposely wore it for this video, but this is one of my favorites. Um, I love hoodies. And so I have a lot of hoodies and this is one of my favorites. I, I love all the colors. Again, I'm a rainbow chick. So... Any color, I'll take it, but today is Heart Chakra Day, so we are wearing green. And then I have my cute little Care Bear, my Lucky Bear, that I keep with me. I can't remember. I think I got this a long time ago from a Happy Meal. <laughs> I, I no longer eat those. Um, no, no. 
No knock on McDonald's because the fries are bae. Uh, and then I got my green candle. Um, you can get this at Walmart. Um, any any store where there are candles. Uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, any craft store. I don't want to put names out there because I don't want to get in trouble. And then incense. I have an incense going. I know you could see the smoke. You were probably wondering, hey, where's that smoke coming from? Um, but my incense is green. Um, not on purpose. I just happen to have this because I it's frankincense smell and um, that's also good um, for your chakra days. That's another reason I bought the frankincense in the first place. Um, so it just worked out that way. Um, so lucky me. And then I like to color. And I'm making this for another video that I'm doing, but um, I colored it in green. <laughs> Um, and I think it's cute, so I just wanted to show that. Um, if you, you know, decide that you want to do some coloring um, or some drawing or painting for Heart Chakra Day, um, I think I'm. I, my intention is to keep this, maybe frame it and put it up. And as I continue to do this um, week after week, uh, whatever chakra, um, I'll, we'll have a nice little collage and it'll be beautiful. Yay! We even got the heart on there too, but it's red. That's root root chakra. That's another that's another video. Um, so getting back to um, a little bit of the explanation on the heart chakra, some healing techniques um, that you can do should you find yourself a little out of balance um, would be meditation. Um, this is where you would uh, just kind of take some time out, make sure that your your aura is um, um, pure. And, um, you know, you want to be comfortable. Um, a lot of people get intimidated with the word meditation, but it really, um, it's a simple process. You could be sitting at a stoplight and, um, you know, while you're waiting, just take some time to take some deep breaths and, uh, you know, close your eyes. A few minutes is all it takes. Uh, the longer, the more beneficial though. So, um, I, I, it's very important, I would stress, um, to do some meditation. If you don't, um, if you do, wonderful, that's great. Um, candles help in, um, with the vibe, you know, to help relax, to focus on, you know, the green. Um, incense help as well, so you can use those during meditation if you're at home, not in your car. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then uh, the next one would be the color green. We kind of touched on that already. Uh, by wearing, you know, certain things that are green, get, you know, get fun with it. If you got green socks, green, sometimes I, I my nails are blue. Um, this was for throat chakra day, not on purpose. I, it just, again, worked out that way. I'm totally being guided. Um, so I'm thankful for that. Um, other things that are green, uh, green foods, uh, grapes, green beans, um, spinach, kale, Brussels sprouts, vegetables. I mean, the world is yours, you know, get creative with it. And um, another thing is plants. I don't know if you can see my plants. They're up there above my head. I don't think you can see them. Oh, I tried. Oh, I'm losing you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, but I have my lucky, my lucky bamboo plants up there um, that I like to look at uh, for ambiance. And it just helps when it's on heart, heart chakra day um, for that focus. That was nice. Um, with the uh, colors, you want to make sure that you stay balanced and that you are not overdoing it because you can, um, like being out of an imbalance where it's lower, you can also overactivate um, and have special symptom symptoms as well, um, where you find yourself feeling like, mm, maybe I need to do something, sit down for a minute, meditate. Um, another thing you can do for healing technique is a mantra. Um, this is where you would take um, a specific mantra, um, such as like the one for the heart chakra is YAM, Y-A-M. It heals both the physical and spiritual portion of your heart. Um, it provides focus. You can use it while you're meditating and it is very relaxing. Um, I, it's the vibration um, as you YAM and kind of let that go, kind of like a ringing bell that kind of lingers. Um, the vibration that goes within your body um, kind of flows throughout and helps you to relax. Um, another healing technique would be positive affirmations. 
Um, this is a self-esteem boost, so if you are feeling a little low, uh, a little down on yourself, um, tell yourself how great you are because you are, you know. Um, we are all love. We are all unique. We are all special, um, made in our perfect way. So just make sure that you're talking positively to yourself. You can speak it um, or you can write it down, um, tape it. Uh, sticky notes are also very helpful as well. I do have little pads of sticky notes around my home. Um, so if I feel the need to write something down that is positive for me, that will help me for the day, um, then I write it down and just stick it where I know I'm going to see it most times. Um, it's very good for positive energy to be able to flow in it will help to clear the blockages of your heart chakra so that you have that nice spinning cycle of flow. Um, another one that I have listed, the last one that I have listed is music. Um, I don't know if you can hear, but I have my Pandora going um, and I don't own the rights to any of this music that you may happen to hear. It is beautiful and lovely. Um, very creative. I'm thankful for it. Um, but you want to make sure that your music is upbeat and um, that it's joyous. You want to avoid minor keys because it can evoke sadness and we don't want to be sad. You know, no, nobody wants to be sad. The heart chakra is the centerpiece. It is the centerpiece of all seven of the uh, chakras and it's where the physical and spiritual planes come together, resting on the foundation of love and gratitude. Thank you for tuning in and for being you. I really appreciate um, all the support that I continue to receive. Um, it does help me to keep going. I know I've been missing for uh, probably, you know, quite some time, but I've, I go with the flow and everything is done in, in the way that it's supposed to. Um, I don't believe anything is done by accident. Um, so I thank you all for continuing to stick by me and to support me. And I look forward to bigger and better things as well in the future. Um, another thing, one last thing is that when you are, um, opening your heart chakra, um, it is very important because it, it helps to find the love and the joy in the world. Um, and so I'm making this video to help spread that, um, just to, to make it an awareness and, um, hopefully in the practice of it, you know, um, try it, you know, if, if it's intimidating, take your time with it. Um, it's, it's simple. You know, you start baby steps. Start with one thing. You don't have to do everything that I listed, you know. Just kind of ease into it. Um, see how it feels. And if you like it, go with it. If you don't, find something else, you know. Um, it's not meant for everybody. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you all. Again, I thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate all the love and support. Um, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section uh, if you have any questions or um, just want to say something and say hello. Um, I will say hi back. I respond to all of my comments. Um, and I hope everyone has had a beautiful, loving, and joyful day. <laughs> Thank you so much and I look forward to more. I will be actually posting. I plan to post uh, quite frequently from now on. Um, I'll be photographing again pretty soon here, but um, this is very important to me and the support that I receive is also important and um, just getting the word out on how to make the world a better place is, is really near and dear to my heart. So again, I thank you and um, have a good night. Peace.